Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is uh, my March haul. Uh, I said I was gonna cut back and then I bought more. <laughs> um, so mostly, this is mostly a book haul, but I do have a few supplies. I'll show them here at the beginning. Um, I actually was working on a project uh, of a new swatch book, one I created and like, like created like from front to cover, divider, everything. And I was looking for scissors that cut different patterns. And I got, I ordered these online at Michael's and then went on my lunch break to pick them up because I had ordered everything else I needed online. And price wise, these were a really good buy and I had a 20% coupon. And I think I paid like $13 and there's 12 different scissors in there. I mean, they're not like heavy duty, you know, but they'll do for what I'm, what I'm doing. So, so I did forget to order one thing by the time I went to pick that up and it was, I wanted to get some tacky glue in this type of a, a squeeze bottle because I don't have any in this kind of bottle. So, of course, that means I have to walk in through Michael's to look for this. Even though I know exactly where the glue is. Um, yeah, so, then I found the stamp aisle, and I purchased these. Grateful, thank you, thankful, blessed. And then I found these, and they'll go great with the project that I'm working on. It's a three-piece, and I'm going to say it's like $14, which... Maybe a little pricey, but yeah. And then I don't know why I walked towards the center aisle and they had these buy one, get one. I think buy one, get one 50% off. And so I picked up two, two of them. That's the other one. Yeah. But they're the cheaper collection. Yeah, they are the $20 books. These are $10 normally, so I pay like $15 for two of them instead of $20 for one. Uh, also, I was coloring a picture with my Sparkle Pops, and some of them were starting to run out, and I had to break into my spares. And so then I was like, okay, I need a new set of spares. And I went online, and they happened to be on sale. I'll link them, hopefully, the last time I checked the other day, they were still on sale. I don't know how much they, I can't remember the last time, because I buy them ahead of time before I need them. So I don't remember how much I paid for the last set of them, but they had these marked at like $22 and they were marked down to 13. So I don't know what the heck they're going for now. And then I also, didn't have a backup set of the crazy pops so I went ahead and picked up one of those because these were on sale as well whether it's actually a sale I don't know and then now we can move on to the books this just arrived today was supposed to come yesterday ups failed me or Amazon I don't know who <laughs> um, so I ordered it through Amazon. It was delivered by Ups. And there's all kinds of mad flip throughs because everybody got their books yesterday. So I'm going to go through here very quickly. I was a little hesitant to purchase this book. I like Kirby's work. But I'm not really about the sci-fi side of this. However, there are certain scenes or images that seem like scenes from movies that I've watched. So I like that aspect of it. Um, and the fact that I'm just collecting his work, I, I, I just it, it made it to like I had to buy it. So... Um, but this will probably be the first one that I do here. I really like this one. Uh, 
I also got Tiny Worlds by Matt Edwards. I was a little hesitant on this one because I don't do well with the tiny print. Especially on the days that my eyes are really bad. But for the most part, I think this one's not... It doesn't have this, certain ones have a little tiny detail, but for the most part, they're zoomed out on the page that I feel like I could, I could tackle them even. I mean, I don't really do anything small when my eyes are bad, but. Some really cute pictures. All right. And I believe that was bought on Amazon. I'll link everything below that I possibly can link. I got Rachel Mintz, Cupcake Fairies. I forget whose channel I saw it on, but I could not resist this one. It was too cute. I believe it's a, I think it says at the beginning, it's AI generated. Yeah, AI art. Um, But I feel like it's not like some of the others that I've seen. Like I can actually make out all the details. There's, there's not those areas where I can't make out what something is. So I like it. That's cute. And I like that um, the girls are different. They seem to be like different age ranges and they, you know, sometimes you get and they're all young or they're all older yeah and then I got Fairy and Fantasy 4 by Christine Karen I have several of these images already that I bought on PDF like this one Sweet Maple I believe I have that one Sometimes I can't tell if, um, because I'm always looking on her Etsy and buying PDFs, which I have not shown in a while because I ran out of paper. I had to order paper and I kept forgetting to order paper. So I actually ordered paper for this haul and I have PDFs at the end. I really kind of backed off buying PDFs. I was buying a lot there for a while. And then we have Beautiful Blooms, a coloring book of flowers. I don't think there's an author in this one. Just a publisher. And they all have like a wallpaper on the back. And they're kind of wallpaperly images, which I do not mind. Some are are uh, more detailed than others. Like this one's less detailed. The ones with less detail are my least favorite. So, yeah, I really like it. I like flowers though, so um, can't wait to start it. And then I got Fantasy Fairy Homes. And I think this one might be an AI generated, which. I'm not sure. 
Yes. I'm going to say it's AI generated. And I debated sending it back because there's some certain ones where, like, I can't, there's no detail to me. It's just a blur of greenery, you know, but how do you know what to color? But there's enough in here that I think that I would color to not return it. Um, plus that last one that I tried to return, they told me just to keep it. So, we'll see. I don't know. And then Enchanted Earth. I showed this already, did I not? Pretty sure I showed this in the last haul. How did this get mixed in with this haul? Maybe I didn't show it. I don't know. If you saw it in my last haul, my apologies. But I don't think I did. I don't remember showing it. But it's possible. I've been ordering so many. I don't think I showed it. I think I ordered it right after my last haul. I think I got that from... I don't know, Australia. If you haven't heard of this or seen it, um, Paul Brune, he has a new one out. Um, I do have that ordered, but I've ordered them from the Amazon UK because they're cheaper for me to order from there. Go figure. With shipping, you would not think. And these are... Um, outdoor animal some of them I was like I don't understand why like here like this why is that coming out of the fish's mouth I don't know because it's so naturey, and then you have that and it's weird but it was like there's sticks coming out of the animals I, that part I just didn't get but I like the actual images as far as what's the subject matter so I don't know when the other one will come and then I ordered mythographic aviary aviary um, by Joseph Cadambang I have the um, one other one The other mythographic is Voyage by Joseph Cannabane. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, it's so super cute. Like, look at that. Isn't that just the cutest? Um, but I get it because birds aren't the easiest to color. But I, th I just thought it was going to, it looks really cool. So I ordered it. It's really cute too. I can definitely see me coloring a lot in this one versus um, even the other one. And then I got Petra's new book. Not sure how you pronounce her last name, but this book is actually a different size than our other books. It's wider and shorter and to me, the images are more blown up. Feels like the same type of paper, but um, yeah, bigger images. And then I got uh, Gracia Salvo's Brightness. I ordered this from her on Etsy. She 
signed it. So did Petra. I like when I can have a, the actual artist sign them. And then here's the PDFs um, that I have not shown. And like you can say, Sweet Maple. Um, I purchased this back in November. I just couldn't print it because I didn't have paper. Some of these were printed on some spare paper I found. I just didn't show it um, because I didn't have, I ran out, like I said. And then I got um, from Studio Dream Creations, uh, Colors of Autumn by Nicolette Delafray. And this is a whole PDF book of hers. Is another two out, I think. Very much Halloween and mesh. And then um, in February, I bought Flower Inspirations by Mariola Bodeck from her Etsy store and printed them all. And then this one is Color My Dream by Moje on Etsy, and I will link all of the stores um, in the video as well. And that's Marlene the Purple Force Fairy. Bought this from Mariola Bodeck. The tattoos are calling me, and I don't normally do tattoos. Hmm. Mom with the baby, love flowers and butterflies, love the hair, love the flowers, <laughs> so, and yeah, I loved everything about that one too, so, that is everything I purchased for a little bit from the November PDFs, and then a couple things in February. Um, a PDFs and then my haul stuff from March. Thank you much, so much for watching and take care.